What's going on guys and girls, Alcoholic Phoenix here, and we are back for another episode of Let's Play GTA Vice City Stories. Now we're going to go on with some more Testicle Man, I mean Umberto, missions. Papa don't screech. <laughs> you even got any balls? Conyo man, I didn't know! And you! I've seen shit with more guts. You didn't say your father was going. Shut your mouth, lady boy. He's my daddy, and I love him. I can't believe you would do this, and you left him there to die. Umberto, what's the problem? Oh, my God, I'm going to be an orphan. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. How did it happen? It hasn't happened, brother. Alberto, that's his dad. He's over at the wrestling, man. So why the tears? Coño, we just saw some cholos driving over there, man. So why doesn't somebody just go pick up Alberto? Brother, that's what we said to Umberto, and he freaked out. Well, go get him. No, no way, Vic. Don't let my daddy be collected by these two bitches. He's a man. The shame will kill him. Well, you go. Oh, I can't drive, man. I'm hysterical. God damn it, I'll go get him. But you owe me, you freak. Umberto needs to calm down a little bit. He needs to settle the fuck down. He's freaking out just a little bit much. Just a little bit. Pick up Alberto at the stadium. You know, you gotta sit there and wonder what the creative thinking was when they were picking these names. Honestly. But oh well. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn down here, aren't I? I don't think I can get it. Oh, okay, I can get it through here. That's okay. Making sure. Oh, God. So, last thing I need is a freaking wanted level. Now, the stadium's all the way up here, isn't it? Wait, yeah. Up top. What? I guess that's right. Can't argue with the game. Okay. Oh, God. Man, I want to try and keep this car preserved as much as possible. Like that, that don't matter, but I don't want too much more than that. I guess we'll just cut through here. Oh god, that was bad. Okay, let's just drive up here. See, this is, this makes the drive so much easier. This works, I think, in both Vice Cities, normal, regular Vice City and Vice City Stories as well. It's just an e it's just an easy little tip in that they can get you from point A to point B without smashing your car as long as you can figure out exactly which way to turn your car as you go up the road you should be fine. Might as well not bother because we're just turning right here anyway. All right, we are at the stadium, which is freaking ginormous. I think the stadium is the biggest building in the game. It have to be easily, but I don't think you can go in it. I don't remember. Alberto, your son sent me to pick you up. <clears throat> Gracias, señor. You're late. Tarde. I can't be late opening my cafe. In 20 years, I have never opened late. Take it easy, Alberto. No problems. All right, then. Get Alberto to the cafe before it opens at 8.15. Uh, I think I can go this way. Stress. I don't feel too good. Oh god. I gotta kinda take it easy as I go there. I forgot about that. It's kind take of. Take it easy! My heart! Oh my god. He's freaking out. I don't know why he has to freak out so hard. Are you serious? Sneak past the Cholos, Umberto's dad wouldn't stand the stress of an attack. Okay. Well, I can't even go more than like 30 Ks. <clears throat> Damn Cholos, man. 
I'm gonna just try and take some shortcuts as I drive there. Oh god! There you go, there's another body armor pickup for you guys. Just if you don't know. Take it easy! My heart! I'm sorry. Please. I don't have my medication! Of course you don't. I don't feel too good. Man, this is bad. Oh god. Oh god, 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 oh god. Let's just go this way. Oh god. Let's kind of just sneak through here. Okay. How are we going for time? Not too bad. Take it easy, my heart! Damn it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alberto. Oh god. Ugh. Really? Man, damn cholos. Just cut through here. I no, hope they don't see me. Okay, let's go around here. Take it easy. My heart. I'm Please. so close. I don't have my medication. Okay, I made it. All this rushing. My heart. She's not so good these days. And with that, the mission is done. Now, let's see who this is from. Oh, it's a payday. <clears throat> 800 bucks. Yep. Might want to go off and do some of those Empire missions in the next episode and earn more money. Or I'll, do it, I'll probably do it off screen and just show you some of the highlights. So, yeah. So I ask you once more. Are you man? Yeah! Then why are you not like Ball? Because I totally am bad. Because that's something you ain't got, baby. I got a whole sack full here. Tons of them. Balls everywhere. Balls to spare. Umberto, oh, man, that's just not normal. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> you what, baby? You whisper sweet nothing to some bitches here? Ah, huh, lover boy? Eh, uh, no, boss. Victor Vance, this is a real man with a lot of balls. <laughs> You're not as scared of no cholos, are you, Vic? You know I ain't scared of nobody. So show them your balls. <laughs> no, I was in the army. Not the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you bitches! <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just messing with you. Someone's gotta teach these cholos a lesson. I guess I have to go. Alone. Yes, you do. Alberto, boss. I'm up for anything, man. I just don't want to have to take my balls out again. Yeah, can't we just go hit shit up and keep our pants on? Yeah, let's roll. <laughs> See, Vic? They didn't want to go and now they've gone. The art of leadership, my friend, is making people believe they had the idea all along. Yeah, man. All right, man. My men are going to collect a little gift for the Cholo. They'll meet up with you after. After what? After you clear the way for us. Then we can hit the Cholos hard and take their guns. I'll coordinate the attack from here. Sure, big man. We really need a coordinator back here. Yep. Definitely. I just think he has no cojones. Damn it. Is that a different gun? Damn it. I was hoping that. I had a lot of bullets though, I guess. I just, uh, you know, you get a fair bit of ammo. The secret of my shortness. Oh my god. I really hope he's talking about his height. <laughs> I really, really hope so. Okay, damn it. Alright, damn it, fuck you, Van. Alright, now we just gotta go take out these Cholos, which are around this bend. Now, I don't know whether I can just run a lot of them over or not. I think I can, though. Let's see, yep, let's go. Three of them taken out. Nice and easy. That's one way to do it. They popped one of my tires though. Well, that seemed. That was easier than expected, to be honest. Acero, we're gonna need some protection while we're loading up, man. I've got your backs. Ah, do you like our gift for the Cholo, man? Very tasteful. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. 
That's ridiculous. All right. That's it for you, bitch. And now we just this is just all standing here and just killing all the cholos that show up. Which is pretty easy. You know, you can kind of just hide behind here if you really wanted to. And then just shoot them. Just make sure the gun's reloaded. Oh god, I was pointing the wrong way. Yeah, this mission is ridiculously easy. To be honest. Now... <laughs> The missions do pick up a little bit towards a later game. Again, this is a thing with GTA. You know, you start off very slow and you kind of finish strong. Well, that's the way it ends up being all the time. So, yeah. Just cleaning the shit. This is just this is just easy, easy work, more or less. You know. It's just a little bit of a pain when they come through. I think it's worse when they come through these side doors than anything. Like, when they're coming just through the front, it's easy, easy work. It's not like they don't give you a health up anyway, if you happen to run out of body armor. So, that makes it pretty easy. There you go. There were still a few guys to kill, but I guess the... Oh, wow! Um... Yeah, talk about easy. Good one, Luke. Uh, sweet. Well, you really fucked up that mission, didn't you? I thought I was doing really well, and apparently I was doing terribly. Damn. Alright. Show me you're the man, man. Okay, now let's try this again without fucking it up. Because I couldn't believe it just before. I didn't think I was going to fail that mission. Honestly. I did not expect to fail that mission. Alright. This might sting a little. Got to be ready for the guys that come in through the side doors. The side door guys are the ones fucking me up so bad. And right, he's coming through that way again. This train stops here. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I can shoot. <laughs> I should have picked up this gun. This gun seems to be a lot better. Whoop. No, no side door. There we go. Now, yeah, this way. That's it for you, bitch. No, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Side door? Nope, front. One of Umberto's guys, I probably nearly killed him then. Alright. Okay, they're coming through the side door now. No, they're not. They're coming through the front. I'm an idiot. This is what fucked me over last time. I let too many alive at once. Oh god. Quick. Yeah, you understand now, huh? Alright. We got what we came for. We're gonna go back now, okay? <laughs> I still find that <laughs> highly amusing. Okay. Now that's that part done. Now we gotta drive back. Which is the best part. Because, from memory, I think we're gonna be. Oh no. Yeah, I, th I just guess we're gonna be getting shot at by the Cholos and attacked by the Cholos. As per the norm with these type of missions in GTA. Look out for the Cholo cars, of course. One's there. One's there. They drove me into a tree. This handling on this van is so terrible. 
Okay, we need to pick up some speed. God damn it, but you really can't in this van, it's just so heavy. That's the thing, you can actually, weirdly, for a PS2 game, you can really feel the van being heavy. Which is always a good feature, you always want to be able to feel like the, feel like you're in control of the car in games, and this, this is really good. I don't like how slow and heavy that is. <laughs> My friend, today is a good day. See it? It's all out the side of us. Today is a good day. Oh shit. We turn the tide in Little Havana. The churros are finished. <laughs> you guys are done, man. And dead. Damn. Umberto Rubina says you are a true friend. You can count on me for anything. I love you, man. Like a son or a dog. Um, I don't like being loved like a dog because I don't know what he would do with a dog. Just saying. That's it's kind of disturbing, to be honest. If you think about the way he is, I reckon he would do a lot of things with a dog that aren't very humane. In terms of, uh, like, he would do what he would do to a woman with a dog, is what it seems. But anywho, well, Cholo's are fucking that guy up. Not even gonna get involved. No, 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 siri. Oh god, I don't want no part of that. Oh, you dick! I don't understand how when I'm driving, you know, nice and peacefully in the middle of the lanes, like, between the two strips, and a cop cuts across from me, how that's my fault that I hit him when he cuts in front of me. Damn you, GTA, and you know make sense. That's my fault. If that was a cop, that would be my fault. But not him cutting in front of me, blatantly, and me accidentally hitting him because he cut in front of me just doesn't make any sense. But anywho, we are nearly at Lance's house. Um, I think actually, yeah, no, we'll start on Lance mission. Yeah, we'll start on Lance mission. Um, yeah, we'll do it next episode. Alright guys, well, I guess in the next episode we will be tackling Lance's missions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a lovely day. Peace.